All right, so this is what happens when there's only one or two garage sales. Because usually our garage sales aren't really that uh, crowded. Check this out. All right, guys, you're new to the channel. Welcome. My name is Julian, also known as the Bearded Thrift Machine. Here on YouTube, I buy stuff and flip it online and make YouTube videos about it. Today is a Saturday, even in the South. I mean, it is fairly cold outside, but there's not a lot of yard sales. There's only two today. We're going to go ahead and try to hit those. We haven't been to a yard sale probably in about a month, and that actually does hurt my inventory a lot. We did go sourcing yesterday almost all day and the day prior, and I did actually clean all these golf clubs right here. This is what I'll be listing all day today. And it shouldn't take me that long. There seems like there's a lot, but two of those or three of those are actually sets. And uh, I did pick this, these sets up yesterday, these, this, this set up yesterday. And this is actually not like a high-end brand. It's Wilson, but it's the Hope Breast Cancer Awareness ones. And I got a, a whole set of these other than the nine iron and the putter for only $10 at a Goodwill, which is a really good price. A lot of times they'll throw like sets together uh, that aren't really name brand and sell them for super cheap. So I picked them up because online they go for like 99 to 100 bucks. So pretty good flip there. I might try to sell that also locally. So what we're gonna do is uh, need to get some coffee, number one, and then um, go see what we can find in yard sales. All right, that was insane. That was like savagery in there, right? So many people. So many people, we're gonna hit by a car. The only thing we really bought, there was a lot of tools, but everybody was like, there was a lady there on like FaceTime, Face, just, it was ridiculous. But I did get these two, which are pretty cool. They're like old Snap-on thermos. Huh? Huh? Not bad for two bucks. All right, just came back from actually another yard sale and we weren't actually gonna go. This one we looked up on Facebook Marketplace and it was really good. $100 for everything I'm just gonna show you right here. So we got all these games. I'm not like a big, you know, gamer or anything. But he only wanted a dollar a game, so I'm thinking I could bundle it up with the Xbox and probably be all right. And I got some PS4 games back there, and they were only a dollar. This Xbox came with the box, and like I said, everything here was $100. So then we got the Sony streaming thing. Don't know what that is, but we did get an Xbox. We got a, a Sony PS Vita. So that's pretty good. I think this is actually going to probably pay for the entire lot. And then we got a Wii with a whole bunch of games. We got GameCube games, GameCube controllers, a whole bunch of controllers, and an actual Wii for $100. I think that was a really good deal and excited that we actually went to that and didn't stop yard selling. But it's 10 o'clock. We got to go pack. Then we got to go to the post office. Then we got a list. All right, going on about 11.15. Already been to the post office, came back, cleaned the house, so now I can actually get this stuff done. People always ask how, you know, I always say I can list like 20 to 30 to 40 golf clubs a day. And that's pretty much like, moving as fast as i can but the secret is to doing that is having a really good system put in place so i'll show you what i kind of changed on the system on how i do it now and how i used to do it so one you have to have most of your stuff already cleaned and prepped so i already showed you this but that's all the golf clubs right there that are cleaned and prepped and ready to go then what i did was i used to do it in the other room and have to like stand up move do all this type of stuff how to like you know measure them so now all i do is i set up a little system like this so I have the, you know, the, the lights there and all I do is I put them here and I do a wood background and it doesn't seem to be that bad anymore. And then all I do to measure them is I have the measuring tape right here and then I'll lay them out on the actual table and then take a couple pictures and boom, it usually takes me only about two to three minutes to actually list it. And then you already have like, I got my tape and this all ready to go to go ahead and custom skew them. And then I put them right here when I'm done, which is next to here. And then I just put them in the garage or in the other room for storage until they sell. So it's really quite easy, but the, the, the trick to being so fast is have a process that you've already done. It's already like proven and then boom, you can get a lot more done. Because if I was cleaning these and listing these, you're only talking maybe 10 to 20 a day. But since you know everything's done, I'll actually knock all these out probably in about two hours and have the rest of the day to do something else fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing this and then see what else we get into.
All right, going on about 145. Did eat lunch and got a whole bunch of listings done. I got 17 or 18 golf clubs done. And what I did was obviously like exactly what I said. I tag them with these little custom skews. And then I wrap all of my iron sets and wood sets in saran wrap. And then go ahead and put the custom skew on there. So much easier when you're looking for them. And then stuff like that. So that's done. Uh, it's about $400 in listed goods. So the rest of the day, we, uh, I'm probably gonna test that stuff that I got today that I already showed you. The sad part is, is that this, we were looking at this, and this is a really good game if you happen to see this out. But when we opened it up, guess what? There is no game in it, which is kind of sad. Also, these, which I thought were gonna be like super expensive because it says snap on and they're vintage from like the 80s and 90s turns out they're only worth like five dollars a piece so not really that good didn't lose any money but this is everything we got it was really good like i already showed you all these games are in there so we will probably test all that stuff tonight i'm probably gonna do one more listing and probably list the zepco because it's in my way which i got the other day and I, I think I'm going to list it for like $50 or something because it's brand new. And the worst thing is, is that dust did get in it right here. There's like a little hole back here and see all the dust inside of it. So that's kind of upsetting because I don't know if that's ruined the plastic or not. But, well, I don't know. But we're going to list that thing and um, see what else we can get into. All right, it's going on about 4 o'clock and did the workout and everything. So that's good. Get that out of the way. And now I'm cross posting. I did about 15 cross postings already and on list perfectly. It only took me probably about 30 minutes, 15 minutes. It goes pretty quick. I'm going to do like a 30 day like thing on YouTube about what I think about list perfectly. I, so far, I like it. And right now, it's just moving pretty fast. Um, I do a lot of things that I'm cross posting to Macari, but I'm kind of being picky on what to put on Poshmark just so it's like clothing or shoes or something. But so far, sales, you know, are a little bit up for you know obviously i wasn't posting it also obviously they're up but i do pay 49.99 a month for list perfectly so that is kind of high so you always have to offset that so that's something to look for but it's uh it's really not that bad you know it is a, like a chrome extension so if you never used it you have to like download it then use chrome to make it work and it, it really is quite easy and user friendly because i'm not um i'm not that great when it comes to computers but so far so good and then after this what i'll probably do is just continue on i got to get some more youtube footage out. i'm trying to get like i said one video a day or at least every other day out on youtube at least for the next couple of months until it hits summertime and then that's when i start going fishing so most likely i'll uh it'll start slacking off there but hopefully you enjoyed this video this is another day in the life of me this is like a saturday and this is usually a saturday we usually thrift a lot longer longer or go to more yard sales but there's only three today and we got some really good stuff and thrift stores were packed so we were like nah we're not going to go in we'll just go home and start getting to work and getting stuff done so i appreciate y'all watching if you like this video always remember to subscribe comment down below and like the video and you know i will always catch on the next one